Hey, this is Andrew from Skate. Today I'm super excited to show you a feature everyone has been buzzing about. AI agents. AI agents can complete tasks for you by combining different flows on Skate and connecting to the outside world and tools. You can also add various knowledge to the agent to use in the tasks. So let's dive in and I'll show you how to set up your own Twitter agent that will post tweets while you sip a coffee or take it up. You will find all the agents here in the agents section. We have pre-built some agents already and um, I'll show you how to create your own. First, let's click on create here. Your agent profile will be um, automatically selected with the, uh, an image you can change. You can then add an agent name, for example, Twitter agent. You can put a description here if you want. Next, um, you can skip the system prompt because this is something that you can go on top of what we already prompted them with. And in different advanced settings, you can select the model that you're going to use. At the moment, we're using ChatGPT's models and 4.0 mini is the one that is going to give you the best answers and the least amount of credits to use. You can also select the temperature. The lower the temperature, more precise um, the agent will take your uh, tasks. And the higher the temperature, the more varieties you'll get out of the task. So let's keep the temperature quite low. So it's following the task to the T. Now, the next thing is knowledge. So the important part about knowledge is something that agent will use to go back to and refer to different information that you will add. In this particular case, I already added a knowledge into my knowledge base and called it Android background. So this is essentially my resume that I have uploaded as a PDF file. That goes directly here. So we'll just click on that here. The next, you can add a tool. And you have various tools here from Google search to a Gmail account. Um, for this specific one, we're gonna use Google search and then we're gonna use Twitter toolkit. So once we've added it here, we can go back and the agent is where you're there. Let's name the agent uh, here. And click save. There we go. So my Twitter agent is ready. I've got the knowledge attached to it, and I've got my two tools, Google Search and the Twitter account attached to this. So now I'm going to go back and create that connection to the Twitter because that's the important part. You'll have to do this for the API and credentials. So first, click here on API and credentials, click on credentials, and this is where you're going to be adding the Twitter account credentials. Now, the important part it has to be the API. Uh, connection and I'll show you how to do this right now. So before creating the new credential, jump on to the Twitter developer platform. You need to go to developer.x.com. Once you get here, click on developer portal and you'll get to this window. Here they have paid APIs, which are pretty big sums, uh, but you can click on the sign up for free account and you'll get to the developer current policy. You'll have to enter the text that what are you intending to use the API for? There is a very standard text that we're using right now, so I'm just going to copy paste it here. Essentially, that you're going to use it for your own purposes without um, any misuse. Click on all the TNCs and click submit. So once that's done, you will have your account ready. All you're going to do is then go to your project tab, click on app settings, and click setup right here. In the user identification settings, you'll need to choose read and write, like so. Um, full access to the type of the app, so web app, automated app or bot. The app info, I'm gonna need to enter the redirect URL, uh, which we're using callback for skate right here. And then for the website URL, it's just a simple URL that we use for skate. There we go. That's nice and ready. Click save. We're changing the permissions, so we'll line that. What you get at the end is the both 2.0 client ID and the client secret. And this is what you will need to enter back into the scheme when you create that credential. So once you go here, you click add new, click credential, you use the app, which is the X authorization two, and then select that API. As you can see, you can enter the name, which is optional, um, and then you can select and put the client ID and the client secret here you copying directly from that page here. So client ID and client secret. I will close that window 
because I've already created my uh, credential directly attached to my account base. So once you've done that, the agent will have that connection done to its weed account. So go, let's go and test it out. Uh, what can you do? So it, at the moment is referring to my knowledge, uh, retrieving different account details like tweet account, you can post tweets, uh, it already knows that it's connected to the tweet account. So really, this is something that you can already start using. So for example, post a tweet about AI agents. There you go. So he's created a tweet that is based on my account. Um, and then it's already posted it onto my Twitter account. There it is. Let me just refresh the page. There we are. It's right there. It's gone from scale directly onto my Twitter account. But what if we could do a, even a better thing? What if we could search for different news that are relevant to us on the day and then post about them on Twitter? Remember, we've connected our agent at the beginning to the tool for the Google search. So every time we send that request, the, the search will be done and then it will post it on Twitter. So all we're going to do now is go back to, um, to our menu and then find a trigger here. So what the trigger will be is we have a trigger that we can add called cron. Once we have the trigger, you will be able uh, to add it to the agent. So we click here, agents and then choose the agent that I've created just now. And then in the system message, essentially ask cron, which is a delay message, is to say um, something like search online and then uh, create a tweet and then post it. So I already have a prepared prompt directly here. So let's copy paste it here. And what it will do is identify the news. So cron trigger will message uh, based on the schedule to uh, our agent the agent will then search for um, this news of the day because basically that's the task and then second task is draft a twitter post and then uh, review refine and then publish it so you can create a schedule that will be searching for the news on the day creating the twitter post and then posting it online um, let's just add that schedule here so for example we want to repeat it every day um, on nine o'clock in the morning and then save it there you go schedule is created so we'll just activate that trigger directly here and it's already connected to our agent as you can see the agent here is connected to the tweet agent that we created so what's going to happen is my request that i've just copied there will be passed on to the tweet agent it will find it um, the information that we're looking for and then post it online there you go. This is what the agents can do for you here. It's just this very simple live example of what you can build here with the Twitter agent that we've just done. There are a multitude of different use cases, and I'm really looking forward to you guys building some more.